So here's the kit for the, the longer arm. This is the 45 inch arm that you're going to put on. This is the spring that goes in the arm. And then there's a fastener and a lock, a locking washer. All right, so let's uh, go through this. Here's the arm that we're going to take off and replace. Step one on this, you're going to disconnect your vacuum tube, then loosen the kip handles. You'll then slide your compensators off. To the side. And we're going to want to loosen these uh, M8 screws here, or M10 screws, so you'll use an 8 millimeter Allen wrench. Next up, you need a four millimeter Allen wrench and you're gonna take these M6 button heads off the bottom here. There's two of those. All right, next up, these are the kip handles in your case. These are thumb screws on this one. But you're gonna to wanna to loosen these up and you want to hold on to the arm because at this point it's going to become quite loose. There's one. And two. So now at this point the arm is completely loose. And then we'll start the disassembly and reassembly process. All right. So to do this you're going to need your four millimeter, or six millimeter, eight millimeter Allen wrench. You also need a punch of some kind, a uh, small screw, straight screwdriver, a pair of diagonal cutting pliers, and a hammer. And also we have a board here just to hit on so we can have some solid surface. So step one is going to be to remove the bolt here. So this is, actually you'll need a five millimeter First step is going to be to remove this screw. This is the screw that holds the pressure onto the spring. The screw that we're taking out is longer than the one that we're going to be replacing it with, so pay special care not to mix the two of them up. The screw will be discarded, so we're going to put it off to the side so we don't get it confused. You'll also notice that there's a spring plunging washer that we need to retain there. At this point, we'll take our flat screwdriver and we're going to remove this retaining clip. And sometimes you need to use the pliers, but in this case, it came off. And there's a new one of those in there, so discard the old one. And you're going to take your punch and just tap this pivot shaft through to allow access to the spring. So you'll see you have a green spring in here, that's for the shorter arm. We want to discard that also, we'll push that off to the side. At this point you're going to want to remove the two M8 screws that hold the arm onto the pivot block. So for this we'll use a six millimeter Allen wrench. And the hardware that's in there we'll be reusing. Now it's loose, you just tip it to the side, get the hardware out so you'll have two M8 socket heads with lock washers. We'll also take the plastic cap out of the thing. Put the plastic cap back into the end of the new longer arm. And then we'll feed the M8 socket heads through the longer arm. <coughs> it's a little tricky, but Get the lock washer on there, so you gotta kind of wiggle it in there. Okay, so there's that one. 
And now when we're putting this block back on, the chamfers go towards the short end of the arm. This one started. And then we'll get the other one. So at this point you're going to put both the screws in, but you only want to put them in finger tight. You don't want to crank them down because we're going to adjust the level and flush of the arm when it's assembled further. So at this point they're just basically just finger tight. At this point we'll put the black spring in that came with the new arm and put this on. This piece goes under there and then we're going to just line this up. So notice where the board comes into place, put that on, so now we're resting on that. And then we'll take our new retainer, and we're going to put that on place there. And then you got to find something that's going to fit over the top of it that you could use to press down. You can also use a socket for this as well. Okay, so now at this point that everything's put back together, you'll want to take onto a flat surface again. You're going to hold this up here. And what you're looking for is that this is flush all the way around when you tighten it up. <clears throat> So as you can see, this line here is flush along with on the other side, which means it'll be square and straight when you put it onto the machine. At this point, you can tell that you want to tighten them up as tight as you can get them. Okay. It's moving all over. Or the other side. Oh, perfect. All right. So now what we'll do is we'll set our new, or this is the, the retainer, or the pushing disc for the spring, which is retained from before, and it just fits into that little receptacle there. Now you'll use the new M8 by 18 button head cap screw, and the reason that this one's shorter is because of the spring pressure. So you want to make sure you use the correct one that came with the kit. This is just going to go on there, and then it just pushes in the same manner as the other one did. Okay. Now at this point, you're ready to put it back onto the machine. We'll get our M4 and our M8. see the finger here is going to sit next to this finger or if you have there's another style that has a plastic uh, sleeve that goes over the top of these just make sure that it's oriented in the right position and you can look at your other arms to verify so we're going to slide this on it's going to go right like that and then I'm going to put the thumb screws or in your case kip handles back in place just to hold it while put the rest of the pieces in. All right. Now you'll take the M6. At this point you're gonna to wanna to put more blue Loctite onto the tip of the screws.
screw. Some screws are now tight, and now we'll put these back in. Put your compensators back on. Good to go. Good to go. And that's it.